from Morning Wrestling, and today I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over the actually the backdoor finish that a lot of you wrestlers might find yourself stuck in. And basically, I'll just take you over with the steps, and you can incorporate it. A lot of times, I find that you get stuck in this position uh, when you take a bad shot. So if you're stuck in that position, you might as well score off of it. So backdoor position. There's a lot of ways you can get into the backdoor position. So if you could get yourself up. Get yourself into the backdoor position off like a low single, off a, off a sweep, or a guy sprawls on you or whatever. But uh, most of the times, like I said, it'll be off a bad shot. So, let's say I'm wrestling my opponent and I take a bad shot. Let's say I take a sweep and he sprawls. Now, notice what my opponent's doing. He has all his weight on me, okay? And I'm here. Now, what I'd like, what I want to do to get into the backdoor position, because right here, I'm not scoring. My opponent has all his weight on me, he's covering me. There's no way I'm scoring here. What I'm gonna do if I have my hands locked is I'm gonna, I'm a, it's really important that you let go of your hands and then you post one hand on the mat. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick up, post with my hand and scoop my hips in. And you're gonna see how my head, how that elevates his, his legs and I get under him. So one more time. So I take a shot, come here, he falls. I'm in, I'm here, post on, let go of my hands, post, Scoot in, I'm in the back row position. Now, what you're gonna want to do is if, if you're in the if you're defending the back row position, like my opponents, he's either gonna lock his he's either gonna try to go for ankles and prevent the position, lock his hands on my hand, squeeze his legs so I can't bring him down. He's not gonna lock his legs. This, notice how he locked his legs. If he locks his legs like this, that's illegal. Okay? So he's gonna squish his legs, he's gonna do everything he can to prevent me from scoring. What I want to do is as soon as I get in here, I'm either going across this way. Now notice if he has my arm, like Robert has, that's fine. I'll go over this finish first. What I'm going to do, as soon as I get in here, I'm not wasting any time. I'm not letting him put any pressure on me. I'm reaching across and pulling down and across. You see that? I'm not pulling straight down. Down and across. All I'm doing now here, now notice how he still has my hands locked. He's squeezing my gut. My hand is still kind of free. All I'm gonna do is gonna cup his leg. I don't need to grab it or anything. I'm at his ankle, I'm pulling across, I'm cupping his leg, and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop to my shoulder as I hook his leg, okay? So I'm here, cross, boom, drop, come here. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna step over and hook, okay? Now Robert's a good wrestler. Ro Robert knows that if, if I'm in here, I'm looking to score. What, what a good wrestler like Robert's gonna do is gonna prevent my leg, my head from getting out between here, which is the next move, okay? What I want to do is, I'm, still, I'm straightening his leg out, if you can see. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop his thigh out and pop my head out, okay? So I'm in here, Robert's good wrestler, he's preventing me, I pop, I get my head out. Once you get in this position, you are golden, you're gonna score. Oh, like I said again, I'm around his leg, I'm here, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick his leg up with my leg, Come across, get my two, get my two, get my two, get my two, circle in. Two. Two. Now, you can get into funkier stuff, like if he doesn't want to let go, I could I could stack him. Okay? But that's funky. Second finish. Just come over here. Put it in the back door position again. Okay? An easy, very, very easy, uh, not as reliable way of finishing is all I'm gonna do is Robert's going for my ankles, that's fine. Come over. Pop at his side, come out. Boom, 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 two. Okay? Now notice how I slide my legs out. If I use my legs here, Robert's gonna pick an ankle. You can't pass that. Okay, I don't want to, I want to get into his ground. Now, the last finish, which is a bit more funkier. Now you're not gonna hit this quite as often. Let's say my opponent locks his hands again. Now here, I'm stuck, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, I mean, you can stand up on this one if you want. I'm stuck here. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go near leg and I'm going to trap his hands, okay? I'm here, trap his hands, near leg, and all I'm going to do now is going to drop to the side where my hand's free. Now all I'm doing here is I'm posting on him. Now, this, not, this may not work against a high level wrestler, okay, sometimes, but if you're stuck with no other, uh, no other way of finishing, why not? I'm here. What's a good, what's a wrestler? A wrestler knows not to, not to be on his back, okay? Just wait. Wrestler knows not to be on his back. Robert's not turning yet. What Robert's gonna do, if, if, if I keep his hands locked, he's gonna panic, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, the second Robert tries, he's either gonna try to pass my ankle or go for my ankle, 
or roll to stomach. The second I feel Robert letting go of his hands, I'm coming fast. Two. And those are your basic three backdoor finishes.